Those who are familiar with the Gold Rush series will recognize Mitch Blaschke as a prominent figure. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mitch has established himself as a highly regarded problem solver who is capable of fixing issues as they occur. Prior to joining Parker's team, Mitch worked with Hoffman's group. The fans, on the other hand, were taken aback when whispers began to circulate that he may depart Parker's group. Mitch, who is 34 years old, possesses remarkable technical skills that have constantly shown to be of great value to the squad. Speculation regarding his possible departure has sparked conversations among supporters, with some of them holding the belief that he would begin his own mining company. Mitch's position as Parker Schnabel's right-hand man illuminates the significant accomplishments he has made, as well as the hefty wages that come along with those contributions. Mitch is under a great deal of pressure from Parker, who is known for his exceptional leadership abilities, to encourage the team to take on difficult tasks, which Mitch is able to accomplish with ease. Mitch appears to be pleased with his current employment and he feels that he derives satisfaction from hands-on problem-solving. This is despite the rumors that he is going solo. His ability to swiftly recognize and resolve problems is well-renowned, and the fact that he owns a number of high-end race cars, as well as a classic muscle car, is evidence of the large earnings he has made. Mitch has been a member of Parker's crew since the fifth season, and he has continued to generate outstanding results, which has fueled discussions among fans about his potential career in mining. When Mitch informed Parker of his decision to leave the team in order to pursue new chances, the level of uncertainty reached its highest point. This choice was made following a catastrophic accident. This choice, which was reached during a vital debate in their improvised camp, highlights the pivotal role that Mitch has played in the success of the team as well as his capacity to excel independently in the mining business. Mitch's departure appears to be impending, stirring both fear and eagerness among fans and colleagues alike. This is despite the fact that there is a possibility of a decrease in income and the difficulties associated with running solo operations. Mitch Blaschke had been a significant player in Parker's gold mining operations, serving as both a foreman and a mechanic. However, he had also encountered a few difficulties during his time there. In spite of these obstacles, Mitch's capacity to maintain composure in the face of intense strain was readily apparent. For instance, he was able to handle a big machine failure while still ensuring that the team made significant profits. When Parker was getting ready to complete mining claims in Alaska during the gold rush season, he consulted Mitch at the mining site regarding the status of the wash plants. His consultation was concerning the wash plants. It was confirmed by Mitch that everything was operating without any problems. Problems, however, began to arise not long after Parker had left. Mitch learned that one of the devices has malfunctioned, which was in direct opposition to the assurance he had previously given to Parker. Because Mitch was the supervisor of Parker's operations and was familiar with all of the machinery, the failure of the essential superstacker, which is an essential component in the process of sluicing gold, came as a particularly startling development. Due to the fact that the breakdown occurred right before operations were scheduled to begin, it posed a significant risk to their planned weekly gold targets. Akik, a mechanic, made some adjustments to the super stacker in the hopes of properly aligning it with Lucifer for the purpose of processing paydirt. This is when the trouble started. Following an initial period of responsiveness, the machine suddenly came to a halt with a loud crash, resulting in a cessation of activities. The discovery of an oil leak by Akik indicated a significant problem, which was a blown stopper in the cylinder which is necessary for the machine to function properly. Due to Mitch's absence from the location, the situation was extremely precarious, particularly in the event that Parker came back to discover the machine in a state of disrepair. Mitch hurried back as soon as he became aware of the problem, 
placing the repair at the top of his list of priorities. As soon as we arrived at the location, the enormity of the problem became apparent, and it became imperative that we locate a replacement plug. Regrettably, there was not a sufficient plug available either on-site or in the towns that were nearby. Both Mitch and Akik entertained the idea of reclaiming a plug from an old rock truck that was no longer in use. Following an exhaustive search, they discovered a possible candidate for another position. Nevertheless, it was excessively big, which made the restoration procedures even more difficult. Mitch spearheaded the effort to investigate different types of machinery in search of a suitable plug, despite the fact that he was frustrated. As they continued their search, they came to a drilling machine that was well known for its enormous hydraulic system, which most likely had many plugs. Following the completion of their investigation into the lift cylinder of the drill mass, they discovered a little plug that had the potential to resolve their issue. Mitch performed the task of removing the plug with great care, well aware that the success of their entire operation was contingent on this very insignificant component fitting precisely. During the time that the super stacker was sitting idle, the pressure increased as each passing instant was essential to the achievement of their weekly gold extraction target. Mark made the observation that the screw appeared to be the appropriate size after successfully loosening it, which immediately assisted in reducing Alec's level of tension. As they approached the stationary superstacker, which was the pivotal point of their entire operation, they did so with elevated expectations. Mitch moved the new plug into position as quickly as possible and immediately started the important work of anchoring it in place. Every member of the crew waited with bated breath, fully aware that the outcome would determine whether or not they would be able to proceed with the activities that they had planned for the day. Mitch's attitude changed, and he appeared to be experiencing a wave of relief as soon as the plug was firmly inserted into its position. At the same time that Alec was waiting for official confirmation, he was careful not to celebrate too soon. When Mitch indicated that the installation had been successful, both of the men couldn't contain their happiness and celebrated by giving each other a high five. They were thankful to be back on track. The fact that Mitch was able to recover so quickly demonstrated his capacity to think quickly on his feet and persevere in challenging circumstances. After the super stacker was put into operation, the team's attention went to increasing the throughput of the Lucifer as much as possible before Parker returned from his trip to Alaska. Although they were already running behind schedule, the crew worked hard to make up for the time they had lost. When Mitch gained control of the super stacker, he skillfully positioned it in conjunction with the Lucifer to guarantee that the flow of paydirt was uninterrupted. A collective sigh of relief was sent out by the team when they had successfully interconnected the equipment. They had been holding their breath until that point. Not only did Mitch's quick thinking save the day, but it also assured that their gold processing processes would continue to run normally. In an effort to recover the gold output that was anticipated for the week, Mitch and the team pushed the machines to their absolute limits over the course of the following several days as they competed against the clock. Mitch provided Parker with an update on the situation upon his return, providing specifics regarding the oil spillage and the inventiveness that was required to replace the incorrect plug. Both wash plants, including Big Red, which was operational non-stop during the week, had achieved their maximum production despite the difficult conditions that they were operating under. In spite of the fact that the super stacker experienced some downtime, the crew was able to salvage the operation and finish up with 162.85 ounces of gold that had a value of more than $290,900. This is an admirable achievement considering the challenges they were up against. It was not just Mitch Blaschke's ability to navigate through mechanical breakdowns and logistical challenges that emphasized his indispensability but it also demonstrated the tremendous impact that he had on the mining operations. 
he was able to demonstrate his knowledge by adapting to new circumstances and coming up with innovative solutions, which was a big contributor to the success of the team. Furthermore, Mitch's continued presence in Gold Rush and his balanced life as a family man, highlighted by his engagement with fans and personal milestones, deepen his narrative, making his journey on and off the screen a captivating story for viewers and fans alike. Personal milestones and engagement with fans are also highlighted. It is not simply conceivable for conflicts and tensions to arise in the tough and unpredictable world of gold mining, as depicted in the popular reality television show Gold Rush, but they are frequently unavoidable. It is possible to gain significant insights into the management and resolution of conflicts in high-pressure work environments by observing the interaction that exists between Mitch Blaschke, a talented mechanic and foreman, and Parker Schnabel, the young mining supervisor. From Mitch and Parker's relationship, one of the most important things that they have learned is the significance of communicating in a timely and clear manner. It was possible that the scenario might have developed into a serious battle if the super stacker machine had abruptly failed. The ability of Mitch to effectively communicate about the problem and his solution, on the other hand, was an essential factor in the successful management of the scenario under consideration. The leaders of a team are responsible for ensuring that all communication channels are always available and that members of the team are comfortable communicating both positive and negative news as quickly as possible. The ability to trust one another is an essential component of any productive team, but it is especially important in settings where prompt decision-making is required. Throughout the entirety of their time together, Parker's confidence in Mitch's ability to solve problems and his proficiency in mechanical matters is readily apparent. It is highly possible that Mitch's history of shown dependability and knowledge is the source of this trust. In order to establish and sustain such trust, it is necessary to consistently demonstrate high levels of expertise, dependability, and integrity. It is common for members of a team to have divergent perspectives on how to address a problem, which can lead to conflicts. As a leader, Parker has the tendency to push his team to their boundaries, which might result in arguments regarding the operational strategies that should be implemented. It is essential for leaders to be receptive to input and to take into account a variety of distinct points of view, particularly those offered by experienced members of the team, such as Mitch. A culture of respect and inclusivity is fostered as a result of this, in addition to assisting in the process of discovering the most effective solutions. A realistic approach to managing expectations is required of both the leaders and the members of the team. In situations where there is a lot of strain, not everything will go according to plan. Teams are able to lessen dissatisfaction and conflict by establishing expectations that are based in reality and by making preparations for probable failures. For instance, Proactive conversations regarding the possibility of equipment breakdowns and the development of contingency plans can help reduce the stress that is caused by unforeseen conditions. When problems are identified and resolved at an early stage, it is possible to prevent them from becoming more serious. The symptoms of conflict, such as shifts in the dynamics of the team or declines in production, should be brought to the attention of those in leadership positions. When these issues are addressed in a timely and equitable manner, it can assist sustain the morale and attention of the team. In the film Gold Rush, the relationship between Mitch Blaschke and Parker Schnabel serves as an illuminating example of the dynamics of conflict that can arise within the context of a high-pressure team setting. Leaders are able to successfully negotiate complicated team dynamics if they place an emphasis on communication, trust, variety of view, realistic expectations, and proactive conflict management. In addition to being applicable to the high-pressure setting of gold mining, these tactics are also applicable to any high-pressure team environment that aims to maximize performance, while also preserving a pleasant and productive culture in the workplace.